Hello Aries, welcome to your 2018 full year tarot and astrology reading. Okay, so let's get to it. So I'm using the Morgan Greer deck. Okay, and I'll use my Lily Sky Tarot another time. I just wanted to change up. So don't forget to share this video that it's also for Aries, birth sign, north node, moon sign. North node, did I say that? Yeah, rising sign. All right, so sit back, relax, and uh, get ready for the messages. All right, let's see. I'm pulling 12 cards. Each card is going to represent a month, and the tarot card will show you what to look for in the month. And then at the end of the reading, I will give you the astrology. Okay, or I might put it within it, so for each month. All right, so here we go. So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So <clears throat> this is the angle that we're working with right now. And I'll move the cards around so that you'll get to see all of the cards on the table. Okay. So for the beginning of the month, January, we have <coughs> the hangman. And the hangman represents a new way of thinking, right? In January, we have on January 31st, we have that lunar eclipse in Leo. Keep that in mind. So, the hangman is about looking at things and the perspective of it. Okay, looking at something in a new way. And the hangman is the mental plane, so it's like the mind. Okay, so if we break up the, the, uh, tarot cards into three planes this will be the mental plane the thinking so january what are you thinking about what are you doing um on my yoga page i'm offering meditation for the three three different meditations from now until april 21st right so between december 21st the soul the winter solstice to end of april there's a lot of stuff going on due to the fact that we're in winter and all of the zodiac uh, signs and so on and our personal life. So there's a lot of things that we can do to make ourselves um, stronger. And even if meditation or something positive isn't good for you, at least having the awareness of astrology and your own intuition plus the tarot reading, right? So this hangman <coughs> is telling you for January, look at things differently. How are you looking at things? How are you viewing your things? How's your mind, your mental state, right? And then we move on to February and you have two of coins, okay? So now with the two of coins energy, this is about balance, right? How can you balance out your your thinking okay your mind this two of coins also want you to not take in so much of what is going on with other people when you do that you end up um not being as flexible or as fun loving you have to juggle your own issues along with other people's issues so be mindful of who you're letting into your life and their problems okay and and by nature you don't let yourself get um bothered by uh, other people's personal um business okay you are very good at making sure that you're taken care of first So just being mindful of 
what you are doing and 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 sometimes getting um help from someone where it's not just help they're actually um taking a load off of certain things that way you can do other things now we have the page of cups and the page of cups is a lot of emotions a lot of um intuition um this is for march now march the energy is about love you know um feeling love maybe there's a, a new a new excuse me a new way of looking at your relationship is this relationship working is it not um looking at things that that match up emotionally do you need to um, be moving forward or um you know really getting in touch with your feelings and um maybe any kind of romantic um ideas you might be realizing that you know what you might be being selfish in love and you're realizing that this is going to backfire on you later on. You know, maybe your partner is agreeing with something, but you know in your heart that person might not want to agree with it in the future. But by them saying it, you feel like, okay, yeah, that, that's their free will. But if you know in your heart that it's going to affect them badly, then that's something to keep, <coughs> excuse me, keep in mind. So January, February, March april so april we have the three of pentacles okay or, or three of coins and this one is it's showing work like the work that it takes to get um something done and the dedication and the time okay so whenever i see um this card or what's coming to me is appreciation of your work so who is appreciating your work? Are you appreciating, are you valuing your work too much where it's causing a problem? Um, you know, are you, how are you looking at um, your work and your career? Questions around that. Um, <clears throat> you know, is it is it good for you? Is it good for others? Who's benefiting from it? Are you benefiting enough from your work? Um, what needs to to change right what are you contributing to to yourself and to and to the work is there something new that you can add to it right what what can you add new to the work you know you can think okay i have talent i i um i know i can get the job done but it's, it's bringing some kind of new element to the work that you're doing And then May, there's time for celebration because, you know, everything that happened so far, you you are bringing up new um, possibilities from the work that you put into it. And now you have the seven of staves, which is all about celebration. So there's something to be celebrated from taking actions and focusing on things. You know, um, m maybe you're doing too much and someone else needs to do something else and that will will help to uh, alleviate any kind of um, uh, pressure, okay? And then that will free you up to even succeed more. So if you're focused solely and if you, your energy is very strong, it's, it's um, you're, you're controlled by Mars, <laughs> right? And that's like a warrior um, energy. So anytime something is holding you back, sure you know you could say oh you know it's this person or you know some kind of action like that but nine times out of ten it's it's the action that we're not doing that's holding us back you know what we're doing we think is correct but it's the actions that we're not doing that would um benefit us even more so the cell this celebration will happen because you let go of a part of you that is strong but also blocks you right so January, February, March, April, May, June, the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords. So when the Page of Swords comes in, the Page of Swords <clears throat> is, in this image, he looks like he's off on a, on a message if he's riding a, a horse and, and he's just ready to... Uh, deliver his message he's focused right so 
when I see this, think about your own mind. What is your own mind like? Especially if you just finished celebrating, right? And and this is now June. So what is your what is your mindset? And and if it's from March, right? Um the the page of cups, if it's a marriage and a love relationship, maybe this page of swords message is um, you know, more truthfulness you know um you're, you're uh, how are you thinking with your mind how are you using your mind you might be worried about how your partner is thinking and this is the um a time to be even more truthful in june because you think june there's weddings you know may june july there's weddings a lot big time for weddings and love so for a lot of you i see where where it's a partnership that is a main focus and how are you using your mind right now that you've got this victory from love so for the love part of it it's more of um worrying, worrying now about what the partner is thinking because you're seeing some certain actions and you're thinking of it for the long term making sure both of you are on the same page however when we're looking now at <clears throat> the seven of staves the six of staves from that that um celebration then now you have the page of swords and the page of swords is about you know being just um any kind of truthfulness that um needs to to happen right maybe actions that you're not taking maybe you're not analyzing a problem correctly and being logical about about a situation right and the swords are all about communication the air energy so um, how's your mind thinking of as in way of communicating? Are you going to be upfront and clear or are you going to act in a certain way to kind of solve the problem where, where it will take care of itself, right? So July, <clears throat> it's like checking your ego. Whenever I, I see this card, I think of someone that needs to check their ego, and and why are you fighting and and does fighting really and conflict does that really serve a bigger purpose so for 2018 aries is how can you grow and you can actually grow faster with with less um control of things or ego you still will be in control but you are getting more um attention by um delegating your work out to other people you know certain in certain ways okay maybe you'll get an uh, apprentice uh someone that works under you uh to help you with your business if your business you know and 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 find their strength and and let that shine let that work because all that that attention is going to come back to you so how can you avoid conflict in july right so um what are you doing that would cause someone to to be f feeling like they have to challenge you or, or or not even challenge you just someone being let down sad or disappointed right and that's the worst one it's not when someone is wanting to attack you and you know it but if 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 someone generally liked you care about you but then they felt let down by you so <laughs> by like the way you're treating them or the way that you act and and um some form of ignorance on your part but then you have the hangman in January and watching this video now. So, you know, January is a time to reflect and get the ball rolling on what you want to do. And you should already know what you want to do. And if you don't, <clears throat> it will definitely get into place. January, if you don't know, you have February, March, um, January, February, March, April, May. So in May, but you have these three months, January planning, if you feel like you don't have an idea february march april to get stuff done so in may there's a celebration so this is august right june july august so in august you have the ace of swords and the ace of swords is one of those power cards uh in the deck i love it it is that winning energy okay and you're getting a lot of swords so it's like your communication with others uh, have to get better 
uh, so that things work out uh, for the best, right? So it, this one deals with justice and truth. And I feel like, <coughs> excuse me, for this year, there's a lot of truth that needs to be realized, but more for you. It's a mental truth, right? And the first card that started this off is the hangman. So that mental truth it, it it's the what's going to drive drive uh your your um success right so this card is saying that um thinking your uh thinking your way through like any kind of uh situation problems the way you analyze things um the way that you find your own justice in things where um <clears throat> to avoid a lot of conflict this year uh, is is being more clear with yourself and being more clear with others and usually you guys don't have a problem with that so the way that you will feel like you're winning okay is if you are completely truthful with wherever you feel that there is um some kind of block okay Let me move that out of the way So now September, and as far as relationship, they this one seems like there's a commitment. So maybe for some of you, there is um, a marriage going on. You know, the Ten of um, Pentacles, Ten of Coins, right? So there is a marriage. There is um, a a huge commitment, and this one, this card always represents that comfort, like that. Um, family energy right uh, a, be a beautiful beautiful surroundings so maybe a vacation uh, maybe your financial um, situation will improve even more you'll invest in things that are uh, beneficial for you that will work out good um, <clears throat> and avoid any any lack of um, help or resources or uh, anything like that where you would find people um that or not find people but stay in contact with people and keep good relationships with people um that way you will always have enough people around you for the things that you plan because when you plan things you want them to be successful you want them to be big and it's all about those little personal relationships that you have that will manifest the ten of of pentacles right so it's very positive energy it's about you um really materializing um all of your 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 goals and your wishes so for the love relationship this could be marriage or a deeper uh understanding of of, of what both of you want you coming to an agreement right so this is you know this is the um the positive side of ten of pentacles and i what i really like about this in its lineup is that it's moving past the page of cups it's moving past um the page of swords and it is now more of a balance right there's a togetherness here now we have <clears throat> for october 2018 we have the six of coins and the six of coins is more prosperity it's more money it's more what but what is what is pros, prosperity for you i always say that to people i read for what are what is prosperity for you right so you're in harmony with receiving money so if there's any money block for you um aries birth sign north nose rising or moon it's how do you um love yourself how do you perceive yourself in this world how do you think others perceive you and does that cause a blockage with you not being able to accept money or feel like oh i don't deserve to make money or and you're not you're not really conscious of yourself saying that but this card is is talking about money okay and how you perceive it and how do you treat it and do you think that you deserve it you know like oh hell yeah i have to get paid for everything or um, okay, maybe I, I, um, I need to have a more balanced, healthy 
relationship when it comes to money. Now, <clears throat> November is the Tower card. So something has to end. Something is going to end. So when this card comes up, you could either go into um, panic mode or um, you can say, okay, this is, I can use this in a positive way where something else needs to um, change, right? Some, some, um, something needs to change. So wh whatever that you are going to experience, that's going to be a negative to you. And it might be like a big blow, like, you know, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. But nine times out of 10, there was signs and, and intuitions about a certain situation and you just ignored it because you didn't want to cause a problem. And then now here it is. Here it is manifested. Uh, you know, that's a major arcana. So, you know, and then here is another major arcana. Your two major arcanas. Now, what, what this moon card is saying to you is about perception, right? The moon card is about not everything that you see is what it really is. So, you know, I always like to say, what room are you in, <coughs> right? Um, and, and how are you viewing things, right? So how are you viewing things? And right after the tower card, this is about perception. And maybe you need to make another bold step now in December to start off uh, 2019, uh, you know, you, you might not see your whole way through these two pillars. These two pillars could be this realm or dimension, and you're going into another realm and dimension, or one lifestyle into another lifestyle once you go through these pillars. So you might not be able to see the whole road or the whole staircase, but you're going to take that step and, and get up there or go through, and that's, this is the next journey um, for, for you. And these things only work if you work at it, of course. So this is the thing. It's the tarot isn't just some magical wand that you're like, oh, boop, it's going to happen because I got it in the tarot reading. So I'm going to sit back and chill and eat chips and, <laughs> you know, it, there's work behind it, right? So let's see the tower card. What I want to go back because you have three major arcanas, the hangman, the tower card and the moon. I'm like, wait a minute. So... <clears throat> What I want to do is go back to the tower card, which is in the, in the spiritual plane, okay? So there's a spiritual lesson to learn when this happens with the tower card. Whatever that experience is, and I'm looking in the comments for this video for um, November of 2018, I want you to come back in, you know, maybe in December and watch it. So in December, I'll be looking at comments. So what happened and if you're a conscious person and you are really responsible for your actions, responsible looking at things, what is the tower? What is your experience in the tower? And what's the spiritual lesson behind it? Right? Now, the moon card is another spiritual plane. Again, another spiritual plane. So what was the lesson in the tower? And now what do you have to move forward with? Right? So I'm not going to turn my, the camera on me as, as I wanted to because I haven't cleared the space for it. But what I want to talk to you now about is <clears throat> the astrology part. So January 31st is a lunar eclipse in Leo. And with the lunar eclipse, what that represents, <clears throat> excuse me, is, 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 is these changes, right? So how can you use Leo? And I'm not going to go into um, so much um, detail into it, but how can you use this in January? You have the, the hangman card, right? And there's a lunar eclipse in Leo, another fire sign of yours. So it's a time for you to... Uh, look at things and and see how you can make your own big shift <clears throat> again okay now february 15th is a solar eclipse in Aqu in in aquarius a, um an, an air sign which your air signs are are good for for fire signs to work with so another time again to 
check yourself and, and what can you do to better yourself. And I'll go into another reading when we get there uh, for, for that. May 16, Uranus is in Taurus. And Uranus in Taurus, um, it will go in and out for the next seven years, right, into um, Taurus. Now, Uranus comes in and it brings about uh, change, changing what is not working. Now, when change is going to happen for something that's not working, who is it benefiting and who is it not benefiting? That's one thing we can look at. We can look at that, okay, for May. And then there's a celebration for you right in may now now uranus in <clears throat> taurus affects financial changes banks so you can see what's going to happen um in around may in that time uranus rules aquarius and we just had the solar eclipse uh for aquarius so maybe you want to um match your focus or your meditation some people are not into meditation but if you are um, match your focus in alignment with um, what would benefit you for for this because uh, Uranus rules um, Aquarius okay so I jotted down these notes that is really insightful so Uranus is bringing about a new way of thinking as well so traditions that are like limiting will be challenged this is can be good and bad so originality and any kind of individual um ways of being will be will be focused on and given more attention this is good however when you're celebrating originality and individuality there's chaos because there's no um it's beautiful but also you you also need some kind of tradition that's not oppressive that keeps a glue glue things together so Taurus will put this in order because you have Uranus and Taurus and Taurus gives it that grounding energy so just re remembering that Uranus is there for change they don't it doesn't care really it's just a very powerful um, uh, energy now June 26 to June to June 26 to August 27th M Mars is in retrograde okay so you can see in which house for you that is in and the main thing that I wanted to talk about with this is that this is going to be a really great time for you to look at things that is not working so Mars rules Aries and Scorpio. So you might be Aries with a Scorpio rising or Scorpio moon or Scorpio. Um, um, see how this relates for you. But when, when Mars is in retrograde, your willpower to uh, do things, and this is going to be in June. Right? So you have this page of swords and we're talking about the relationship and, and all of that. So the willpower right so this mercury retrograde meaning willpower suffers uh, maybe you'll overthink things so if this has to do with a love relationship how are you going to face this and and do what is needed make sure that everyone is on the same page right now july 12th is a solar eclipse in cancer um and and i've met spiritual people who say okay if it's not in my sign, it can't benefit me. It can. It's it's more maybe more compassion to yourself throughout the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. We have the five um, of swords, that conflict, words, negativity, maybe more um, compassion, okay? Um, July 27th, lunar eclipse in, Aquar in Aquarius, air sign, more, more, um, more compassion again, okay? Then August 11th, we have the solar eclipse in Leo, okay? And we have the ace of, of swords here, that, 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 that winning energy, okay? And, and how can you use that to benefit uh, yourself at that time? It's another fire sign. So August 11th, for that solar eclipse in Leo, 
uh, it's another way of, of you can use that time if you're not in a meditative person to just rethink things, look at how things are going and um, start action on those different um, retrograde lunar eclipse, solar eclipse days to um, do what you need to do and tweak it for your business or, or your love relationship or whatever, right? So October 5th through November 7th, is Venus retrograde all right and <clears throat> let's look at that okay so for Venus retrograde we know Venus they always associate Venus with with uh, love okay um, so from October 5th to November 7th uh, Venus is in retrograde and this will be So you will find that you'll have more difficulties uh, in love relationship between October and November, October, November, okay? So you have the six of, of uh, coins for no November, October. November, you have the tower. December, you have the moon, just to recap, okay? So with with um, November 5th through October 5th, sorry, October 5th through November 17th, Venus retrograde, have you look at love relationship again or how you love, love yourself, all of that. Libra and Taurus is controlled by Venus, okay? Just to mention that so you look at your chart, <coughs> excuse me, and see how that affects you, Okay. So with the Venus in retrograde, more difficulties in giving and receiving love and affection. There'll be delays and kind of like sadness when it comes to uh, relationships, some kind of hardship, right? Um, maybe lacking self-love, some kind of anxiety, feeling shy, um, even financially hardship. So, so make sure that with these tarot cards that we pulled, right, how does that match up with, with the astrology? Now, November 8th, Jupiter is in, is in Sagittarius. And with that, what I channel, what I got for that is that Jupiter, right, which is facts that we know, Jupiter is a masculine energy. And it is, it is very, if there's someone in power, it wants to be the king of everyone that's in power. So the ruler, um, it rules over uh, Sagittarius, who is the traveler, the explorer. So people that have power might want to um just overuse that jupiter is a planet of of receiving right like plenty um the negative way that jupiter could affect some of us is people using um someone else's knowledge against them in any kind of situation right relationship love uh you will see people twisting words and actions right um, um actions uh to gain more power more control